Good morning. A little quick walk and talk. I start doing these walks every morning. I don't know that I'll record every morning, but I'm going to walk now that <clears throat> they released me from the hospital. Some of you don't know I've been in the hospital the last few days. I didn't think I was going to make it. <clears throat> Pneumonia. It came out of nowhere. But the doctor said now that the fever up and down, up and down, up and down stuff is gone and you're stabilized, you need to be active. You need to be walking, doing something to keep your lungs active. Don't just be stagnant, it'll make it worse. So I said, okay. Um, <clears throat> a question that often pops up is, do I need to run synthetic oil in my new vehicle? And the answer to that is, you don't need to. Um, the manufacturers use it because the lubricity is a little better. They know people are gonna abuse their vehicles. They know people uh, are gonna run the oil longer. So from the factory, you get a synthetic blend unless you got some kind of Maserati or something like that, it's different. But you get a synthetic blend. Even on the Ford Platinum F-150s and all that other stuff, it's a synthetic blend oil from the factory. And then when you go to the dealer and you get synthetic oil put in it from the dealer's oil change package, it's also a synthetic blend oil. It's not a pure synthetic oil. They actually, it's very difficult to get a pure synthetic oil even out of a quart. So there's nothing really that's 100% pure synthetic that would be like a group four PAO and higher and you wouldn't be able to afford an oil change every time you went to get an oil change. Yes, full synthetic oils are better. They're made from group three and group four oils, some group four, but they're predominantly group three. The only thing that I've seen is close to a full synthetic that you possibly can get coming from the base stock is the Pennzoil Platinum Series because it's a gas to liquid formula and even though it's a group three it's the technology in which they use to create their formula it's very pure um, and very very clean so moving forward uh, people ask me a lot can I put synthetic blend in my brand new car well yes you can uh, motorcraft 5w30 5w20 whatever it may be those are acceptable what they're telling you to do whenever you're doing these services to your vehicle is use this at the minimum so a lot of people will say well the dealer or the manual says that <clears throat> I got to put full synthetic in my vehicle. That's not what your manual says. They're wanting at minimum synthetic blend, which was sent in that vehicle from the factory. You can go up. Do you need to have either one of those? No, you don't. We've had really high ad pack oils, even in conventional form, for a long time. People think that you have to get a full synthetic oil to have a high ad pack oil like extra molly, extra sulfur, extra zinc, extra phosphorus, magnesium, and that's not true. They make a lot of performance oils that are conventional oils that already have that stuff in there. So can you run a conventional oil? Yes, you can. They make performance conventional oils. They make higher end conventional oils that you may have to order now because they're less and less found on the market but they're out there and they work well even in today's brand new vehicles we went to synthetics because it's a finer group of molecules a tighter group of mo <coughs> molecules that are more symmetrical synthetics just lubricate better they free up some rotating friction a little bit better but a lot of people still to this day will not go to a synthetic oil. 
they're still stuck on regular conventional oil and they change their oil every 3,000 miles. That's their prerogative. Once that vehicle's out of warranty, you do what you want with it. Will running a, a conventional oil in a vehicle that had synthetic blend or higher from the factory be fine? Yeah, just change it more often. That's all. But get out of warranty first. So if they test it and you're not using at least at minimum what they said to put in there, well, you know the rest. Um, now, new vehicle braking stuff. If you didn't see the podcast last night with Aaron and Rain Man Ray and DS Trucks and CP's Garage and Cliffy Whiffy, all of us on there were just chatting up Anthony Bearded Fortech. If you didn't catch it last night, sorry for you, you should have seen it. It's Aaron hosts it every Wednesday on his channel at 8 p.m. Central Time. Power Stroke Tech Talk with A-Rod. We all jump on there, the best of the best, and we all just chat it out. We all talk about everything under the sun. And Aaron's a great host. And this came up last night. When do you change your oil when buying a brand new vehicle? Every single one of the manuals that I've seen on almost any manufacturer says between a thousand and fifteen hundred miles is your first oil change and then you go to your oil change minder which I don't agree with uh, or 5,000 miles or something like that which I'm I'm better with 5,000 miles than going off that oil life monitor but your first oil change with any Ford vehicle that I've seen so far and they even looked it up in the manual last night I think Cody said it was page 416 or something of the owner's manual in the new Super Duties 23 Super Duty HO is what we were looking at. It says a thousand miles is the first oil change. And even the gas stuff, I've seen the same thing. A thousand miles is the first oil change. And then you go to normal oil change intervals after that. We get a lot of customers that come in, they hit, hit three, four, five thousand miles, and they're wondering when their first oil change is. And you missed it by four thousand miles, bud. Why is that? Well, the machining process and the building process is imperfect. They get 99.9% .9 of the material out of the block and the heads and stuff like that, but it ain't perfect. Run some oil through it, put some miles on it, let it break in. It's going to take a little bit of metal off the inside as it's rotating and everything's kind of meshing together, and it's going to collect in that filter. It's going to come out of, be pulled out of that pan into the oil or into the filter area, and it's going to be suspended in the oil because that's what oil does. It deters and disperses. So... When you drain the oil, you're taking contaminants with it. That's why at a thousand miles, they say is a good mileage for an oil change because anything that it would have, would have started to wear in or may have been just minuscule amounts still in there, you're gonna flush it out, you're gonna drain it out. So, a thousand miles is a good oil drop on a brand new vehicle. <clears throat> Getting a little winded. So this might be a nice little walk to start out from the house four or five blocks down, turn around and go back. Do my video at the same time. Good exercise on the lungs because I feel like it's working it a little bit, but not too bad. So that's my take on should you use or do you have to use uh, synthetic oil on a brand new vehicle and what should that oil change interval be? Anyway, just thought I'd bring it up and talk a little bit about it get you guys some content not the hospital content and talk about something that has been brought up a little bit you know probably a dozen times in the last six months and there's your answer be blessed to have a great day guys thank you for watching i love you all take care be nice don't be mean